Hey everyone, we continue our Minecraft adventure series and in this one I'm gonna be showing the large um, a dig site that I did, well not a dig site, but a dig tunnel uh, that I did um, to, f to go find more diamonds. I found a bunch of them and uh, I'm gonna go back in there. So I have now this unbreaking two pickaxe which is breaking and then I will uh, switch to an iron unbreaking three efficiency four pickaxe so that's going to be way better. I'm also taking with me my fortune diamond pickaxe for collecting um, re uh, not rewards but resources so these are just for digging not taking anything and uh, the fortune pickaxe will be the one to take stuff. I also have my sharpness 2 sword breaking and I have a new one prepared to take its place. Food levels are good, torch levels are bad so let's make a lot more torches. I like to go with uh, maximum I think 64 so 60 is good. Sticks I have let's just pick up more, more of it there, maximum sticks, almost maximum torches, some wood, some dirt in case we get lost and we'll pick up a bucket of water on the way out. Let's take it from this lake. The farms and stuff I'll do later. So the, uh, what I did is I, I said, okay, why am I walking all the way down there to the dungeon? Why don't I just make a, uh, why don't I just dig next to the house? So. I came over here, here where we, where we have four torches and I dug way down there and I hit an abandoned mine twice so I'm gonna show you maybe later I'll make a staircase here to go up and down faster here was some coal and that's why it's dug so I took that here was the first place where I hit the uh, abandoned mine I'm not sure which tunnels uh, come here but I was I already were, was here because these torches were already placed so I must have come here from uh, way far away actually when I was exploring the abandoned mine and I said okay let's dig down even further so I dug even more all the way to the diamond level so uh, depth 11 uh, here and then I started making a main street and I hit straight away another opening right here so I went out and explored this and this opened up into new depths over here whole dungeon here that's to be explored and where was my other path let me see wait I came up to here and then where is the other branch? I'm missing one more branch. Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> no, it must be this way. Okay. Okay, let's come up here. Maybe it was somewhere here. No, this is a dead end. <clears throat> or I'm mixing with something. All right, here I left. Um, uh, my bags were full so I left the gold we'll take that with the iron pickaxe because uh, that doesn't drop multiples like coal does let's take that and the coal up there we'll take in a moment Right, there's a baby zombie. We'll use an axe on him. He is super fast. Wow, he didn't even get to hit me. That's a little bit of luck. But I remember one more branch, so I, I must have missed something. I don't know but let's explore here and this is right next to the house so it's uh, relatively quick to go in and out taking all this coal with the fortune pickaxe really makes a difference we'll see right after gathering how many I have 
for double charge so nearly a stack of coal just from one vein <coughs> so that's good stuff over here we have redstone I don't hear any monsters so I think I can take it over there there's a whole bunch of iron so the redstone also you can take with fortune the iron not oh there's iron behind it good Oh, and redstone above. So all these resources I found, my bags were full already. So I had gotten back up and was planning to take this later. So we're taking it now. There is some light there, so let's actually check that out before going to the iron side. Right, that's lava. And uh, this dirt would be great to actually take out because <coughs> we are at depth uh, 13 so we could easily find diamonds at this level. So let's use our shovel and uh, open this up because it's really fast and it could reveal it could reveal some resources. Plus, we always need dirt for constructions and all sorts of things, farms. So it's better to take it from here rather than from above, uh, above, above the ground. So let's see if it reveals something. So far, not. And if it doesn't, it's okay. It's super fast to clear it. And we're not um, using anything other than a stone shovel for that. Okay, here there's a high chance that there will be lava below. As I see a lava lake there. So I'm going to be careful taking this iron. I hear a skeleton. Okay, I'd say we're done with this branch for now. Here I heard a skeleton. Where are you? Yep, two skeletons. Let's use our sharpness sword. You missed. Shield is really helpful. I hear a zombie, but he's not here. So there must be another room here, we'll find that, but let's first take the resources. A lot of arrows that the skeletons missed, and a piece of gold up here. Oh, more! Great! But gold has very limited uses, so I like finding it, but it has very limited uses. I use it mostly for enchanting, um, for ocean exploration. It tends to be easier to enchant gold items. They get uh, one higher than you would normally get. But this time I got lucky and I got my ocean set with, um, with while I was doing my iron enchants. Let's actually close this, it's not helping me. So let's close that. And get those golds. Now let's get the irons and this is all gravel actually and I do like digging it out because it's it's just like dirt super fast to dig out and um, it could reveal hidden resources on the walls especially since we are so deep really anything can be found plus it drops flint which can be used from craft uh, for crafting. Here we go, a whole bunch of flint. And previously, I found a lot of stuff hidden behind the gravel, so I like clearing it. And it's the same speed as if you would use a diamond pickaxe, I think. So it it clears super fast the torch and let's say the shovel is almost broke 
I'm I'll be happy when this pickaxe breaks because the other one will be faster with efficiency four on top of having uh, unbreaking which is higher durability well freaky sound a lot of iron good we need as much iron as we can get perhaps later I can try to build an iron golem but first I, I'll need an anvil I think um, because that can help me do even better enchantments I hear monsters falling and a zombie but they're not around here so I'm gonna take this opportunity to clear that out crafting table give me a shovel there must be a dungeon room somewhere here let's make sure not to burn I don't remember previously seeing lava next to dirt. I think the monsters monsters are on this side over here. I'm gonna dig out only this bit because I don't want uh, lava flowing. Just to see if it's revealing any um, resources. Alright, it's not. So I'll put a couple blocks. Let's listen where they are. Come on, zombie. Here we don't hear him. Here it's far away. Here it's sort of closer. Here it's closer. Here it's far away. So I think it's somewhere down there. We are at height 13. So let's get another torch here and try to dig to that zombie. he's nearby there there I see some monster legs there is a creeper so that looks like a pretty big uh, room Don't know if I can get a torch in there. I need to get a torch there. Let's do like this. There. Now I can see it better. It's a massive ravine. Hello, creeper. 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 Come here. I don't want to pop my head just like that because there could be a million monsters there dropping on your head from above and so forth. It's a very dangerous place. So it looks like a massive ravine. Let's take this one out. I want to see if I can get them to drop again like that creeper dropped here. Then I could kill him without them hurting me Let's see where are they okay let's be brave we'll open it up not too much space in the back but all right hello creeper come over 
There, you blew up just one. Let's see if somebody else wants to come. There's another skeleton. Oh, wow, that was a great shot. <laughs> that was fun. Alright, they did blow up my torch. But, the creeper revealed some redstone for me. So we shall thank that creeper. And grab that redstone. Good stuff. Alright, should we come out? Well, a lot of shooting. A bit of a mess. Let's get some food. I didn't fully understand what was going on there. Somebody just fell and died. Somebody just jumped. Uh, I, I don't know who that was. Um, he didn't drop. Did he, oh, it was a skeleton here. He dropped some loot. Oh, they're dropping from above. I need to be really careful here. They're just frenzied. Jumping from wherever they are above. I'm here, zombie. Okay, you're dead. What about the skeleton friends? Let's... You know, fill this up because it's very annoying. Okay. There. Skeletons. Did they shoot each other? No. Ah, oh, they cannot come up. All right. They're stuck, but they're still shooting me. Okay, one skeleton accidentally shot the other one. <laughs> now we have a skeleton duel. Yeah, you killed your friend. That's what you did. You're a naughty skeleton. Alright, so that means I have to be super careful for other monsters dropping on my head from above. So let's try to get some high up torches. There is a creeper waiting for me. What a massive ravine. Just from... Oh! Somebody again jumped and died. That was a creeper, by the way. It dropped me some gunpowder. They're dropping from way up there. So I have to be very careful about that. Let's take the iron. Okay, it broke. Now we can use the faster iron. There, it's breaking it like as if it was a dirt block. Wow, nice critical. I'm trying to hang out here and have them drop a little bit. There's iron up there. And a ton of coal for which I don't have space. So the coal I'll take later. Let's go up here, see what we can find. have to make a sort of a staircase here actually one more and one more here a ton more coal over there I hear a skeleton okay there's a big room with creeper and a skeleton Mostly interested to kill this creeper. There we go. That zombie, where did he come from? Again, he must have come from. Could he have jumped somewhere? I don't know where he came from, I have no idea. So here we have a large oval room with gold, more um, gravel. I like these oval rooms that the system generates. 
we have lots of resources to take see how fast the efficiency 4 is breaking it's really great all right shall I take coal let's see yeah we can toss this gravel it's just a piece of gravel that will free up some backspace more gold nice let's get a torch here that side is collected let's take this coal oh good I didn't go up gravel dropping on you uh, shovel let's see if that opens up a new room have to be very careful with the gravel it's very dangerous also sand very dangerous stuff see if I if I break this they will drop again and there seems to be another room there Oh no, I thought I heard a skeleton, but let's dig some more. Okay, let's get the coal. Wow, it's a massive amount of coal. I hope I have enough room for it. And there were only three blocks visible and look how much I already took. Wow, even more. I don't want to drop down. Um, you have to always dig diagonally, you never know what to expect. Okay, I'm out of space again. Let's drop... What do we not really need I think the f the six and the side can go it's not or the actually the four rotten flash can go if I need rotten flash I have a zombie farm wow so much coal my villager um, smith or toolsmith uh, is gonna be super happy with all this coal I'm gonna bring him 40 I'll drop that at oh wow and we find iron this is a super rich place of course I also get level ups okay we're gonna have to drop the underside as well no space so or the gunpowder now let's drop the underside I've never seen this quantity of coal in one place. And it's still continuing, it's amazing. It's a massive amount of coal. Okay, just finished an absolutely amazing amount of coal freaky sound to scare me let's take the iron for that we do have space all right we'll put a torch here and see if wait where's the exit did i dig too far down <laughs> Okay, we'll go up like this. Okay, that was an, an amazing amount of resources in one spot. Uh, we came from the ravine. And there is still more. Okay, let's take the gold. Wow, a lot of gold. 
it's a really rich area and is that no that's not okay I thought it was cobblestone but it's not all right let's see where this goes but otherwise my bags are full I don't really want to continue with full bags if I die and a lot of monsters could drop on me from above as well uh, let's just have a quick look see that goes still even further who is shooting why you little did that arrow ricochet on him I'm not sure yeah, of course creepers are gonna show themselves one killed the other there is I was one second too late with the shield alright we're gonna place a staircase I should not be exploring I really shouldn't especially upwards another creeper no Okay, and that goes back down. Oh, iron. Okay, that's good. Iron I can take. Okay. Oh, this was the, the roof area that I was saying they could drop on me. Okay, so we sort of got to a side of the ravine. Now we're a little bit above, so we went in there all the way around and came up here on this coal, which unfortunately I cannot take because I have no space. So we'll just put torches for now and come back here later. And I don't want to drop, so let's get a piece of dirt. So we circle down. that part I still need to explore or that's the ravine no that's the ravine okay we'll put a torch here and the skeleton how is he here I cleared this area and he's a bad shot missed me twice maybe more light I don't know but um, or he read in from the ravine I don't know but normally he wasn't supposed to be there oh no 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 I thought I had a weapon on me let's take those torches back oh his chainmail boots on him funny skeleton all right so here we have more water lava possibility to find diamonds because it's depth 15 so I definitely want to go all the distance of this ravine and look at the walls if there are any diamonds visible. I will only take, uh, because I think I have space for iron, there are 45, so we do have space for iron. So the only thing I want to do is get up here now and then, we'll, then I'll go up to this iron block right here. I hope skeletons don't see me right this moment because if they shoot me I might drop okay let's be a little bit safe we'll do like this a good amount of iron okay the bat came to say hello there is more iron down there Switch to the shovel. Let's not fall. Okay. I just want to take the iron bits. Let's get a torch up here. 
to light up the ravine. And up there, somewhere. And another one jumped down. They're really suicidal if you think about it. Jumping from way up there just to just to get me. All right, and this is um, there's somebody else jumped there, and this is the iron, but I have to be careful with it. There's a ton of lava here, so there could be lava below the iron. So we'll go a little bit slow. Also, these very dangerous. We'll, we'll uh, risk losing one, but that's why I want to do it one step at a time. So if we find any lava, I can take a step back. Okay, that's 61 iron, that's good enough, I think. And uh, I'll have to come back here also for all this coal and the coal up there. So massive amount, uh, a massive dungeon, ravine dungeon I found just by digging next to the house. Uh, let's see if I can find my way back. I think it was this way. Here. I probably need to get some signs there, not to get lost. And here we have two staircases, one to come up to the abandoned mine, which I can maybe explore later, um, and one to go up back to the house. But the abandoned mine I don't want to explore at that level because I want to dig around the diamond level to find more diamonds. And here we are. Quite close to the house. I could take a whole bunch of uh, staircases and make the, the way up and down faster. The iron we can cook straight away. Let's see if any of the fireplaces is free. These are already cooked. I can move the glass. Yeah, that's something I could do. This one is free. Let's toss the iron there. We will also need to cook the gold, so let's uh, move the grass, uh, glass out and put the gold in. Let's move this glass out as well and take half of the iron and cook it here. Alright, now sorting stuff, miscellaneous to miscellaneous, bones come here. We already have two stacks of bones. Resources come here and there as well. Gravel, more gravel, cobblestone, dirt. The coals will go for trading, which is the small chest here. And we're almost ready. Just these two, so the piece of dirt will come here. So it looks like my resource chests are full. So we'll need another resource chest. And the red stones I'm keeping over here. Well, not all of them, I still have several stacks somewhere. Um, oh, we have a lot more gold and iron to cook. Okay, um, let's see, you come out. 32, let's make it 8 more, you gold, you iron, let's get some of the bamboo sticks, fill it up. The bamboo has been fantastic um, for, is basically free uh, fuel for the fireplace.
and we'll cook all those as well all right this sword is almost broken um, oh I have one more iron ore on me there you go so now the bags are set again but I don't have too much dirt I will take some and I like to keep near near high near maximum uh, stacks of cobblestone and dirt so what we could do also is make staircases for um, for going up and down and uh, that will make it super fast uh, to walk up and down uh, to that dig site but uh, anyhow uh, that's something I can do a bit later it's not urgent I also want to show you what the birds are here okay let's fight them it doesn't look like night time that's why I was surprised oh oh they appeared just at the end of uh, at the end of the night I see all right I just want to show again the, the colorful sheep which turned out to be great um, they're still lacking grass so a lot of them are not regrowing their sh um, a lot of them, are, let's move away because they're loud, a lot of them are not regrowing their um, their wool because there's not enough grass. So I might have to expand the sheep farm uh, even more um, just for the sake of them regrowing their wool. The cow farm I did adjust. Um, these cows all have to die. Because these are the ones which come out after the feeding. So these are, let's say, the extra cows. If you kill them with a critical, you will um, waste your weapon slower. Wait for it to reload. And then one critical takes it. So this way we get a whole lot of leather as well. So you only take the extras. So these are the cows which uh, so I've opened up here as you can see it's wider. This this farm setup has is finished. So you can feed them easily uh, over here. They don't disturb you anymore. And uh, the babies because they're short they come out and they can come all the way over here. And so you wait for them to get uh, to become adults. So you never kill the um, these because then the quantity will remain the same. So that's that. The, the bunnies, like I said, I haven't really fed. They're just chilling there. I'm not really using them. I've never gotten their meat or anything. Um, the tree farm, sugar cane farm. All the farms I think are ready. I see here they're at full height. The wheat is not because I did harvest that. The um, pumpkins we can take. Those are fully ready. And then some. I don't know why I was hitting the dirt. Okay, out of the... No more eggs, so we'll do that later. And uh, these farms are also normally fully ready. So I'll have to harvest all those. Uh, also to trade with villagers and uh, that's also another advantage of having an axe is that if if and when this sword breaks um, if it happens in the middle of the battle I can switch to the axe number two because you don't have time to open your in inventory uh, when you're inside the battle the bamboo sticks finish very fast so you have to watch it and uh, reload them uh, to continue the cooking process. Apparently I need some more. Where was the other iron? Here. And the reason I'm not picking this up is because it gives experience and since I have level 32 uh, I can do an enchantment and uh, the higher levels cost more so that's why I'm not taking the experience unless I'm below level, thir uh, below level 30. So 
let's put the meat here. The leather goes to the second floor. And I also killed an enderman um, and got an ender pearl. I'll leave some leather on the first floor in case I need it. But we can go to the second floor as well. To show here I have the chest with the fire set almost ready. So fire protection 4, fire protection 4, fire protection 3 and this is going to be pr regular protection 4. Uh, which I can do right now, one, two, three. I was waiting to level up to 30. So with this one, we can have protection four and maybe something else will come with it. Protection four and unbreaking three, fantastic. So now I have the full fire set, uh, which I can wear um, to go to the netherworld. So that's something I have seen, but not done myself. So that uh, that's something to do. Alright, I think that's it for this part. I will um, do the farms and stuff on my own time <clears throat> and will continue in the next part.